destroyed homes are photographed at the Journey's End Mobile Home Park in Santa Rosa, Calif, on Friday, October 13, 2017. And a Jew, Bay Area News Group Archives, Sacramento's reeling from the prospect of paying billions in damages from last year's North Bay wildfires, Pacific Gas. At stake for the giant publicly traded utility is what one activist called a big get-out-of-jail-free card that would allow it to pass on liability costs to ratepayers. PG To garner support, its spending on policymakers and lobbyists to influence state law has skyrocketed. The utility spent nearly $584,000 in the first quarter of the year, a 91% increase over what it spent during the same time period last year, according to the most recent disclosure documents filed with the Secretary of State. The figure dwarfs what PG. PG. Ad choice advertising and red invented by Teeds in 2015, the State Public Utilities Commission hit PG. Utility Company, $1.6 billion, for the San Bruno disaster. It also fined the company another $97.5 million fine for improper communications, including by lobbyists, with the PUC's own staff and board members. It is too early to say whether the company will face penalties in the wine country fires. Their lobbyists are working very hard. PG but its lobbying costs are a pittance compared to what the giant, publicly traded utility could face if it were found liable for a significant portion of damages from the fires, given that the total amount could significantly exceed $10 billion, the company reported Thursday. In a Securities and Exchange Commission filing, an amount that would fall far short of its insurance coverage PG. It is facing hundreds of lawsuits. This year's first quarter lobbying spending came before the state determined that PG. The fires killed 44 people and destroyed 8,000 structures. Lobbying reports for April, May and June will not be available until July. A spokeswoman for the utility declined to answer specific questions about its lobbying efforts. In an email, spokeswoman Lindsay Palo wrote, Lobbying expenses are paid for with shareholder funds, not utility customer dollars. Like many individuals and businesses, PG. The company reported $430,000 spending in payments to influence legislative or administrative action between January and March but is not required to itemize the expenses. That amount can include advertising meant to shape public opinion to create pressure on lawmakers. It was required to reveal the $22.97 breakfast on February 27 with State Senator Bill Dodd, Dinepa, but it did not list who met with him or what was discussed. Days earlier Dodd had introduced legislation pushed by PG. Nothing discloses how much money is going for a bill, Hydorn said. Unless there is a reportable individual expense, like Dodd's breakfast, the public is entitled to absolutely nothing about meetings between lobbyists and lawmakers, he said. Dodd's SB 1088 would allow utilities to pass fire-related costs on to ratepayers. It would require that power companies file annual safety, reliability and resilience plans with the State Public Utilities Commission, which would determine if the plan is reasonable and prudent. Utilities couldn't be held liable for an incident such as a fire if an investigation showed it was in substantial compliance with that plan. Critics argue that the bill would allow utilities to pass on both planning and fire prevention and damage costs to ratepayers. This bill stinks. It's a blank check, Tony said, arguing that the planning it requires won't improve safety, this bill is absolutely a top priority for PG. 
Under state law, the utility is financially responsible for property damage caused by its equipment, even if investigators can't prove negligence, such as failures to trim trees or maintain equipment. It's based on a legal principle called, inverse condemnation. PG. It is that message that lobbyists are pushing on law and policymakers far from public view, said Sen. Jerry Hill, D. San Mateo, a PG. While legislation has not yet been introduced to address such a significant change to PG. 1088 to be amended later in the legislative session to include it. No one has been approached with language, Hill said. It could be added in. If that happens in the session's closing days, Hill said, the bill could be swept up in the blitz of last-minute votes and passed without much scrutiny. A spokesman for Dodd said on Friday that there are no current plans to amend the bill. It doesn't do anything to address civil liability, the spokesman, Paul Payne, said. AD Quality Auto 360p 720p 1080p You might also like 1 o'clock Toshiba uses technology to build a better world Toshiba APAC free trial, millions of women use this serum to reduce. Lancome Singapore AC companies angry at this new tiny device handy tech gadgets .com expats in SG, what makes a good international school? www.iss.edu.sg Accounting RMIT It's in part-time, full-time degree programs.